Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to disable liquid glass effect on iPhone and iPad. The same steps will work on iPhone and iPad. So depending on your requirement, you can follow these things on your device. For two reasons, people want to turn off the liquid glass effect or disable liquid glass effect on their iPhone and iPad. Number one, if your iPhone battery health is near to 80%, then if you think that the liquid glass effect is putting too much pressure on your CPU and GPU to render and process each time you navigate inside the iPhone and iPad, then you may turn off or disable this feature to use the device with you know a little bit better overall performance. For some reason you don't like the liquid glass effect at all and you think that the glassy effect and uh, frosted glass effect across the system is kind of disturbing, uh, then you may turn off this feature of course as per your choice totally. So let's quickly see how to disable liquid glass effect on iPhone. Navigate inside the settings app and then scroll down a little bit to access the accessibility and then scroll down to access the display and text size then click on reduce transparency. This is the first step to disable the liquid glass effect as you can see the control center background turned from frosted glass into a complete black color or whatever the background a fixed plain color that has that reduced translucency effect. The next thing is come back to the previous page, navigate inside the motion, then turn on reduce motion. So this will further disable all the liquid glass effect completely from your apps and not just only from the settings and control center and from the lock screen. You will also not be able to see the same on your music app and uh, podcast app or any other app that has the liquid glass effect. And after disabling, you can see that weird background at the bottom controls. You know, this kind of looks bad. I think Apple need to work on how the transparency and motion feature disabled works, you know, the UI overall. There are still so many improvements needs to be done with iOS 26 and I think this is also one of them. So now the iOS 26 liquid glass effect is disabled and all you will see a very snappy performance when you navigate inside the app you can see the transitions everything happens just like that and when you open the app or close the app everything opens suddenly but it takes some time to refresh of course so try this feature for the two conditions I have said if it meets your requirement and use it for a week or two then that will help you to understand whether you like this UI and overall experience or not and based on that you know you can decide to continue using it or enable the liquid glass effect once again. So as you can see the minus icons at the top left corner of each. It also looks entirely flat and the UI is totally different right now with the liquid glass effects turned on using the accessibility features. This definitely helps with the battery drain performance on devices that have a very close to 80% battery health. But for all other users you can normally use the low power mode feature whenever you want it on your device when the battery uh, you know nears the 50% or below and you won't be able to charge uh, in the next few hours you can use the low power mode that is pretty much sufficient only for people who don't like the liquid glass effect on the iOS 26 this option may be helpful thank you so much for watching for more useful iPhone iPad and Mac related tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe have a wonderful day